Hey guys, Shane here from Genesis Off-Road and today we're talking about the G-Screen. So I'm going to show you what this is, why you need it, what it does for you. We're going to go through it in detail, each one of the screens and tell you how to use it. And I'm even going to give you a few tips and tricks and some other cool things that you can do with it. So first off, what you get in this kit this is a little one inch LCD screen that you're gonna put on the dash or on the A-pillar. You can see right up here, we've got one mounted on the A-pillar of our JK. You can also put them on the dash or overhead over the rear view mirror. So this is a little one inch LCD screen. It's got a little brain box that comes with it. So this is gonna read the status from the, our dual battery system and display the information on this tiny little screen. The trend today seems to be everybody wants bigger and bigger screens, but we went the opposite way. We wanted to cram as much information in a tiny little package as possible. So this is only about one square inch and it makes it real easy to mount inside the vehicle. So you also get a cable. This is going to plug into a port that's built into your dual battery kit. Every one of our dual battery kits comes with the G-Screen port. This will plug in and lock in place. The other end comes and plugs into this little black interface module box right here. So just like with our dual battery systems, there's no wiring for you to do to hook up a monitoring system. This is all plug and play. So even though this is just a single cable to, to plug it in and get it all up and running, we do have a detailed installation video. You can check out our other videos to watch the, the complete install video. But let me walk you through each one of the screens and we'll show you how to use it. Okay, so on our JK, we've got the screen mounted here on the A-pillar. I like this location because it makes it real easy to see, it's, it's, but it's not in your way. We actually leave the backlighting turned off until you touch it. So right now you can see the backlighting is off, but if I tap it one time, it makes it easier to see. That backlighting is going to turn off after about 45 seconds, so it's not glaring in your eyes at night. So the first screen you're going to see here is the main battery voltage. This is your cranking battery. So right now ours is showing at 12.6 volts and you see the backlighting is yellow. So yellow means that the batteries are isolated. So since our batteries are below the 12.7 threshold, when they're below 12.7, the isolator will separate the batteries. All your accessories run off the second one so that they don't drain down your cranking battery. So you see that we're, we're yellow right now because we're below 12.7 and they're isolated. We tap the screen again. Now here's our auxiliary battery voltage. We're at 12.5. If we tap the screen again, it's going to say boost off. So boost off is just letting you know that the batteries are isolated. That's what that means. So if the batteries are connected, it's going to say boost on to let you know that the batteries are combined in parallel. You're using the combined capacity of both batteries. And that's just a status indicator to let you know they're connected or disconnected. We tap the screen again. And on this Jeep, we have our optional air pressure monitoring system. So we have a little sensor that can be screwed into your air pressure tank to monitor your onboard air pressure. Uh, so this is for uh, like an ARB or a Viair air compressor, not for your tire pressure. So that's on your, on your dash. So you can see right now my air compressor is off, but there's a little bit of air left in my tank. Now, if you don't have the optional air pressure sensor plugged in, you're not gonna see this screen at all. This won't display. Now, if you wanna run the optional air pressure sensor, that's gonna come with another cable that's gonna plug into the second port on the interface module right here. As soon as you plug that in, the G screen will detect that and immediately add the PSI screen on here the next time you cycle through all the screens. So again, everything's plug and play. Everything's made to be modular. Everything's made to be very easy for you to install. There, there's no air hoses to run, no wiring to figure out. So we tap the screen again. And now we're on the version number. So it says Genesis Off-Road version four. This is the latest for the Jeep JK, the Toyota Tacoma, and our universal kits. Now our other vehicles, the JL, the Tundra, and the 4Runner, those are gonna be running version 4.3. Version 4.3 is for those kits, for those vehicles, because they have a little bit different isolator. So the G-Screen is actually software updatable. So in the future, if we come out with new features, you can send the G-Screen back to us. We'll flash the firmware and send it back to you. So we've updated this a number of times over the years to add more functionality. For example, version three added the feature for the new air pressure sensor. So if you have one before version three, 
you can send that back to us. We'll flash the code. Then you can use the new digital air pressure sensor. So also from the software screen, we can access the contrast adjustment. So we hold this down for a couple of seconds. It'll say adjust LCD and I can cycle through a couple of different contrast levels there. So by default, it's on number three, which is pretty good for all viewing angles. But if you if you got it in a position where it's in bright sunlight, you can cycle through the, the contrast adjustment there and get it just right for you. And then after a second, it'll go back to the main battery screen. Um, so each one of these screens also has a couple of uh, some extra functions if you hold the screen down. So from the main battery screen, if you hold this one down, it'll just turn this, the unit off completely turns the screen off so it's it's not using any power. The, the G screen uses very, very tiny amount of power, about the same amount of power that your radio uses to hold your, your station presets in memory. But if we tap the screen again, it'll power right back up and come back to the main battery voltage screen. Same thing with the aux screen. If we hold this down, it'll turn the screen off, just turns the whole display off, and then we can tap it to bring it back on. So here when we're on the, the screen that says boost off, we can actually use this as an in cab boost feature. So let's say your cranking battery got drained down a little bit too low and you can't start the engine for whatever reason. You know, you could get out, pop the hood, hit the boost button under the hood to jumpstart yourself from the power in the second battery. But if you have the G screen inside, you can do that inside. So you hold this screen down for about three seconds and when that flips to boost on, now the batteries are connected and you're using the power from the second battery to help you start the engine. It's just like using jumper cables. So just like using jumper cables to hook up to a second battery, it's using that power from that second battery to help start the engine. The boost feature is just like using jumper cables to take one battery and connect it to another battery. But if you think about it, just like with any other vehicle, if you're trying to jump start one dead battery off another dead battery, then you're just having a bad day. You just got two dead batteries, okay? So if both of your batteries are really low, the boost feature is not gonna help you. That's just a limitation, right? So even though you've got the boost button built in under the hood, every one of our battery kits comes with a boost button where you can get out and pop the hood and hit that button on the hood. Sometimes you don't wanna get out of the vehicle. Maybe it's raining, maybe you're in a sketchy neighborhood, or maybe you're like me, you're a little bit of an introvert and you just came out of the store where you ran into a couple people you kinda of know but don't really wanna to talk to and you come outside and the battery's dead and you don't really wanna get out in the parking lot and pop the hood. So you wait until all the customers leave and eventually the store manager closes up and locks the doors and goes home and you finally get out and pop the hood or you can hold the screen down for a couple seconds, jumpstart yourself without getting out of your seat and away you go. So here's one more cool thing about the boost screen. So I like to leave my G screen right here where it says boost on or boost off. So think about a scenario where you're going camping, you're at the campground, you're hanging out around the campfire, maybe you got the lights on, you're listening to the radio, maybe you're talking on the CB, you got the fridge running in the back, all that. You wanna come by and just check the status of the batteries and see how everything is doing. If you come around here and just poke your head in the window and just tap the screen to turn the backlighting on, if the screen is green and it says boost on, you know right away that they're still above that 12.7 volt threshold. So green means the batteries are still fully charged, they're still linked together, you're still drawing the power from both batteries to run everything in the vehicle, everything's still good. Now if the screen says boost off and it's yellow, then you know that your cranking battery is being protected from being drained by your aftermarket accessories. So at that point, you know your fridge, all your other accessories, maybe your auxiliary lighting, all that stuff is running from the second battery and not draining down your cranking battery. Now, if you wanna go a little bit step further than that and you wanna see the voltage, just, just cycle through the screens and we see our main battery is at 12.5 and our auxiliary battery is at 12.5 also. Now, at this point, if your batteries continue to drain down, uh, here in a minute, it'll, it'll separate them and go to boost off. And our accessories, like our fridge, if that continues to drain that auxiliary battery down, if either one of the batteries drops below 12.0 volts, if either battery is below 12 volts, the backlighting is gonna be red. So if you come around, you tap the screen and the backlighting is red, you'll know that it's time to go ahead and crank up, let the engine charge those batteries back up. Also, it'll blink red a couple of times a minute just to get your attention. So if you see the screen blinking red, that just means that one of your batteries is below 12 volts and it's a, it's a good time to go ahead and, and charge them back up. So, you know, with all the extra electronics that we add onto the, our Jeeps with lights and refrigerators and air compressors and winches and everything else, 
you know, you've got the dual battery kit under the hood. It all starts with the power, but you just need to know what's going on with your system. So the G-Screen lets you keep an eye on everything and lets you know what's happening, lets you know the voltage on each battery, if they're connected or if they're isolated, and gives you the in-cab boost feature. Hey, I hope that video helped you out. If it was helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. That really does help us out. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below or send us an email. And remember, it all starts with power.